everyone and coming to you from Move Well, Live Well. And today I just wanted to share with you an exercise that I like to put in after doing either a, while I'm in the process of doing a full body workout, it could be a full body weight workout, it could be a core specific workout. This is an exercise you probably are not doing and it's great for both the core and it gets the legs in there a little bit. I like to add it in at the end of a set I like to do it for time, so do as many as you can do in a minute. Um, when we get into it, I'll show you, you're gonna wanna, it's, we're gonna start in a frog jump position, and then we're jumping back to a plank through the legs, holding the plank for three to five seconds, jumping back into the frog position, back to the plank, and you're gonna do that for as many repetitions as you can do in a minute. I put this at the end of a full body weight um, routine, so I do a full set, do this for a minute, do I go through my second set of exercises, do this at the end of that set again for a minute, and go through a third round and do it at the end as well. Or like I said, you can add it into your core workout or you can put it in as an isolated exercise just at the end of your workout, just to burn stuff out. So we're gonna start over here. Wide, nice wide legs, toes pointed out in a frog jump position. Now my hands are really just to stabilize I'm gonna be doing all my pushing through my legs. So I'm gonna explode back into a plank, hold the plank three to five seconds, and then come back. And this is gonna, you're gonna do this as many times as you can for three to five minutes, I mean for one minute, but you do hold the plank. And you're exploding through the legs. Be careful with your posture. Make sure your arms are underneath your shoulders. As you jump forward, bringing your legs on the outside of your hands. And like I said, the explosion is through my legs. My arms are just to stabilize. And this is a great exercise here, guys. I mean, the key thing too, when she, Dr. K, if you can kind of see here, when Dr. K goes into the plank, her uh, back is in like a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt. That's important. You don't want to let the low back sag. So Dr. K, why don't you show, go back into the plank and look, put, go down and do what like some people do. This is something you shouldn't do is go down into, you see how her low back sags like that? This is, that's what you don't want to do. This is what you want to do right here where Dr. K is right now. Her, her, her uh, back is in a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt and strong core strong core yes strong arms hands under wrists underneath the shoulders so you may need to adjust as you jump back and if you're new to doing something like this you can start with 30 seconds versus a minute but you're going to do as many repetitions as possible over that minute you get a little bit of a cardio element you get the legs in there, as well as the core. I know you're probably not doing this exercise, this frog jump into a plank, back into a frog jump position. And this is a great way to finish up either a workout, put into your core workout. If you have a day, you just do core, or just at the end of each round, if you're doing like a full body body weight workout, each round of exercises, Put this in at the end. It's gonna keep the heart rate up throughout your exercise. If you have any questions about this move or this exercise, go ahead and pop that down in the comments below. I wanna thank you for joining today. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscri subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And at the same time, hit that bell notification button to stay in the loop of upcoming videos that are coming out. And you may know somebody who's not doing this exercise. Maybe you're not doing this exercise, but if you know somebody not doing this exercise, what a great exercise to add to their workout to get their core involved as well as their legs and keep their heart rate up. Share this video with them. Sharing is caring. Also, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know you care. Thank you for joining me again today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.